bet I bet they didn't argue over it either. I bet they just separated and did their own things, right? Yeah, no, no, mm -hmm. no prejudice, no preconceived ideas. Um, mm -hmm. You know, that's that's something that I've noticed and known for a long time with children that they they don't hold anybody to any prejudicial standard. They mm -hmm. they. Um, they understand that as they themselves would like to do something, somebody else would like to do something else. Mm -hmm. And um, that, is, that is something that disappears for a lot of children at a, cert at a certain point in time. Um, and uh, it's, it, it's nice be, to be able to observe children doing that and to understand that uh, that, that is what is happening because what will happen with adults a lot of the time is that they will try to persuade each other that something mm -hmm. is better than something else mm -hmm. yeah it's also about the skill of negotiation where it's necessary for people to to realize that for for a balance to exist there must be different opportunities and possibilities and through negotiation, we find the balance through 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 discussion, through conversation, mm -hmm. and um, children very rarely learn that through education, because education tends to be a one-way system. Uh, where children learn negotiation is usually from their parents, from watching their parents interact and seeing how their parents solve problems. So if parents are able to negotiate with each other, then usually children are able to negotiate with each other, which then falls apart a lot of the time, not always, but a lot of the time in education systems where children realize there's very little flexibility and room for them to negotiate within the education mm -hmm. system. They have to be in this chair in this class with this teacher reading this book and mm -hmm. there's not much flexibility available there. However, if you can learn to negotiate within that environment, then you can become very powerful as a person because um, the ability to negotiate is everything in life. Everything is persuasion from how to get the job that you want to um, where to go on holiday to, 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 to other things. Um, it's a, it's a, it's a pretty important life skill to be able to understand, not so that you're always using it, but so that you can understand it when someone is using it on you <laughs> as, as well and uh, see how it works within life and, and within society. Um, or as I frequently tell my children, and some people will say this is dangerous, that's an individual perspective, but I will tell my children, if you can't say no, then it's not a real choice. <laughs> right? If mm -hmm. you can't, if you can't say, no, thank you. Thank you very much. I'm, I'm fine. <laughs> I don't need that. Thank you for these offers. Thank you for these opportunities. But, um, if, if you can't actually say no, you're not actually ever, and have no, negative effect from saying no yeah you're not actually ever really given a free choice and it is very important to realize when you're free and when you're not yeah because conflict will be the end result if you get those mixed up and and think that one is something else and you also mentioned the fact that sometimes children behave very differently in a classroom from outside of a classroom um sometimes they do sometimes they don't right you know you can you can see differences in, in each child but the classroom is very often role play Stu to be a student is to be a role to put on a uniform is to act like a person and to be a teacher is very much to be a role as well and, and these are safety mechanisms that we have in life um where the teacher very often doesn't show too much of their own personality because that might not be the right thing to do. <laughs> mm -hmm. And and the student very often does not show too much of their personality because they mirror the teacher in understanding that that might not be the right thing to do. Um, 
the end question being when is anybody ever really themselves and uh, that is for the individual to discover um, there's an educator called john taylor gatto who argues that you are only ever yourself when you are alone and never told what you must do at which point in time you understand who you are and what is possible uh, anyway 